Welcome to this video series on configuring domain rewrites using Quest on-demand migration. This first video will walk you through configuring a new domain rewrite project. We will review important prerequisites, show how to navigate to the domain rewrite interface, how to step through the project creation wizard, and how to install and configure directory sync agents in hybrid environments. Full prerequisites are listed online in the documentation, but we are going to review some of the important prerequisites that you will need to get started. Make sure you identify any hybrid environments. These will be any tenants that contain objects that are synced from Active Directory environments. If you have any environments with this configuration, note that you will require a Directory Sync agent server. Prepare the accounts that will be required for the domain rewrite process. This includes a global administrator account for each tenant, as well as a domain service account for each AD environment that you identified above. Identify the domains that are in scope for rewrite because they will need to have some DNS changes. These domains will include both the original domains as well as the rewritten domains. You will publish STF records for each of these domains in scope, and you will also be provided with DKIM records that you will publish for each of these domains as well. In preparation, make sure that you confirm who your DNS providers are and the method for making changes. Also identify the resource who can make these changes. Finally, make sure that you prepare one SSL certificate for each tenant. The certificate can be associated with any accepted domain in the tenant. It should be saved in PFX format, contain a private key, should contain a common name and a friendly name, needs to be valid for both server authentication and client authentication, cannot be a SAN certificate with multiple domains, and cannot be a wildcard certificate. You will start by logging into Quest On Demand and accessing an organization that has an active domain rewrite subscription. For this training, I have created an organization named Domain Rewrite Tutorial. Note that in Quest On Demand, you do not need to add tenants on the initial screen. Instead, you will navigate to a separate domain rewrite interface. To do this, from the left nav bar, expand Migration and select Domain Rewrite. This will open the Domain Rewrite interface in a new browser tab. This is where we will begin our project creation. Start by clicking the New Project button to start the wizard for creating your Domain Rewrite project. Give the project a name and description that will help you differentiate it if you create any additional projects later. Click Next. This is where you will connect to your tenants that will be using Domain Rewrite. Add your first tenant by clicking New. Select the tenant type, and then enter the credentials of a global admin account. Consent to the permissions to allow the application to be created in your tenant. You will see that the tool identified that this is a cloud-only environment and is not in a hybrid state. When I close this screen, I can now see that that first tenant has been added. To add your second tenant, click New and follow the same process. In this case, you notice that my target tenant is a hybrid environment and the tool detected that. It has created a placeholder for the local environment with the name of the default domain. Go ahead and hit close. And now you will see both tenants listed on this page. Select these two tenants for your domain rewrite project by clicking the checkboxes and clicking next. The next task is to select the environment pairs. Start by clicking new pair. Select your source environment and your target environment. Note that the source environment should contain the mailboxes for which you want to enable the domain rewrite. If you are performing any tenant-to-tenant -tenant migrations or plan to perform domain moves in the future, this pairing should match that effort. 
Click Next to continue. Now that you have chosen your source and target tenants, you can choose the actual domains that will be included in your domain rewrite activity. Note that we cannot perform domain rewrite on the onmicrosoft.com domains, so you will be choosing the actual SMTP domains that you are using for UPNs and email addresses for users in your environment. Select the domain for the source tenant and the domain for the target tenant. You can add additional domain pairings if needed for your project. Note that the domains that you choose here, if they are used as UPNs or primary email addresses for your users, we can also use those for any automated matching that can occur later within this project. Once you've chosen all of your domain pairs, click Next. You can control the scope of mailboxes that On Demand can discover and display is available within your domain rewrite project. Alternately, you can have the project discover all users and mailboxes. For this video, I will leave it selected for all. There are a few different methods for defining the matching for source users and target users. Using the domain pairs that we chose on the previous screen, you can match automatically on matching attributes, such as having user principal name equal user principal name, or any of the other attributes listed here. That includes primary email address and extension attributes 1 through 15. Alternately, if you don't have any matching attributes between your source and target environments, there will be an option later on to upload a matching CSV file. Note that if you match on UPN, Domain Rewrite will match using the local part of the UPN, even though the domain suffix is different between each tenant. For all other matching attributes selected here, Domain Rewrite will match on the entire value of the attribute. For our purposes, we will keep user principal name as our matching attribute. If you selected any environments for this project that were identified as hybrid environments, then you will have a screen to download the directory sync agent. Download it from this screen, copy it to the application server that you prepared for this project, and then install it using the instructions posted online. I have downloaded the installer onto my application server and have started the installation wizard. After accepting the terms, you will reach the screen where you enter the domain information to the domain that this agent will be talking to. Once you have entered the domain information, click Next. On this page, you will copy the registration URL and the registration key that are displayed in the on-demand domain rewrite wizard. If your application server uses a web proxy, you can enter that information at this time. Click Next to continue through the remainder of the wizard, accepting all of the defaults. Now that you have connected to your tenants and defined your domain and attribute pairings, you can proceed with configuring the domain rewrite functionality itself or you can choose to continue configuration later. For this video, we will select Yes to continue with the rest of the configuration immediately. On this first screen, you will be provided with the DNS information that needs to be published to your source and target domains that will be involved in the rewrite. Click on Copy DNS Information to copy the DNS text record to your clipboard then go publish it in your DNS. On Demand will regularly reach out and check to see if you have published the records and will display a check mark next to each domain for which it sees the published record. When you see those check marks appear for your domains, check the boxes next to them to select that they will be in use. Then click Next. The next step is to upload the SSL certificates that you obtained for each of your tenants. Remember that you will need one certificate per tenant, and that certificate can be tied to any accepted domain within that tenant.
Start by clicking Upload next to one of your tenants. In the pop-up window that appears, click on Choose File and navigate to the location where you stored the certificate. Select the PSX file and enter the password associated with the certificate. When you click OK, the tool will confirm that the certificate is valid for your domain rewrite project. If there are any issues, On Demand will display a message for any missing requirements. If this occurs, simply regenerate the certificate in a manner that meets all requirements and then retry the upload. When the certificate is successfully imported, it will be shown next to the tenant to which it was associated. Repeat these steps for the other tenant. Select the PFX file for the target tenant, enter the password, and click OK. Both certificates are now uploaded and you can continue with the wizard. Click Next. The wizard will display a summary screen showing all of the selections you chose, including tenant pairings, domain pairings, DNS verification, and certificate details. Click Next to continue. On Demand will begin auto-configuring all of the required transport rules, connectors, and groups in each tenant to complete the domain rewrite setup. Click on Start Discovery to also begin discovering objects from the source and target tenant. The setup wizard is now complete and you will see the dashboard that will be displayed each time you open your domain rewrite project. This completes part one of the domain rewrite video series. Please check out the next two videos to confirm your configuration and to start using domain rewrite.